and everyone here at ABC Radio Perth, as you can imagine, is um, in shock trying to make sense of it. Our thoughts uh, really are with Russell's wife, Kylie and Bronte, and we're giving them every support we can. Um, Russell, as you know, uh, is a much loved and much cherished part of our ABC family. And um, we're going to battle to find words for a little while. He always had a kind word for everyone. His very presence lit up the room. Staff meetings were always much more fun when Russell was there. If he could get you to laugh, he was having a good day. And if he could share a beer with you, he was having a better day. He's Russell. And she's Nadia. And this is The Breakfast Program on ABC Radio Perth. He was kind and generous and hilarious. And gosh, we loved him. He'd rock in to do what he called his annual lecture to my students. <laughs> um, this year, he, he had came with his good songs on, his, um, <laughs> his shorts and a, and a gingham shirt. And he had the students enthralled for the better part of about two hours. <laughs> like a family member died you said he was welcoming that was exactly it for me because I we had one other couple that we knew in Perth and the radio became actually everyone at the ABC feels like my friend as well so the fact that he's gone is really sad we had the pleasure of having Russell Wolf from the ABC crew to um, backyard cricket in 2011 and it was probably one of the funniest afternoons we have ever had to those that stop me in the street and say hello, I hope you'll continue to do that. For the kids that need to go to bed when I finish, good night, kids. He's rib-achingly funny, and uh, we figured that he would do that um, on, on screen. This is for tomorrow, I think, at our maximum. Many, many, many jokey times doing, doing the weather. He's one of the funniest guys, as you know, you could possibly meet. Uh, it's been nice to be able to stand in front of you and talk with you for uh, the last couple of minutes. <laughs> Goodbye to our dear friend and colleague, and you leave a very big hole in our hearts and our lives. 